Hey, this is Mr. Capert. I'm going to show you in this video how to make the side of your bridge. Instead of making this out of hundreds or thousands of little pieces, um, such as it's going to be in real life, when we model it, I'm going to make it easier on you guys and treat things as a solid layer. So, for instance, the outermost layer on my bridge looks something like an M. And notice it's not each individual piece. I made it as one giant part, and I'll show you how you did that. Same thing behind that, I'm going to have glued this layer, my middle layer. Notice when I highlight this, the other ones um, also highlight. That's because they're all the same part. And then glued beneath it will be this layer. So we need to make sure that everything's going to um, glue up correctly, layer by layer. So the first step is to draw out stick figure of your bridge. So I started with all the relevant points. Um, I drew six inches out um, and then uh, three inches in is where these meet. I did construction lines first. I did this line and then I drew to that point. That was the easiest way for me to find where these two should meet. Notice six inches, I drew just half of my bridge and I'll show you why it saves a lot of time. Now the second step that you're going to do once you have it all, well, half the bridge traced out, stick figure like, I would do where these meet, these lines, you're going to do step two where you end up adding thickness. Remember our boards are quarter inch thick, so that's what you're going to do next is add quarter inch thickness. How you do that is a little tricky. Um, it takes a little bit of time. And make sure you're always on the same sketch. Always the same sketch. Never start a new sketch with this project. Always sketch on top of the other sketch. Notice how I did that. Now I'm going to just draw a line and try to make sure that it doesn't snap to anything. I'm going to make sure it goes nice and straight. Make sure it doesn't snap to anything. And then I'm going to dimension it. Each of these boards is a quarter inch. 0.25. I'm then going to go back and trim off that extra. I just went long because otherwise it has a tendency to snap to things, especially when you do the diagonal here. So this is the tricky part. I'm sure there might be a better way of doing it, but this is how I do it. I start way out here so it doesn't snap to anything. I touch the line that I want it to be parallel to. I then go outside of here and I wait till Notice a parallel symbol came up in the middle there. There's two parallel lines. That means it's parallel. So that's what I want is when it's parallel. I'm then going to go back and trim all the excess off. And I'm going to leave all these extra lines that are needed. Um, that's not needed there. So you're going to just keep doing that goal around your, your part here and just keep adding thickness to these. Now, one trick is once I get to this right here, we're going to just draw half of a board because we're going to mirror this. Got to make sure this goes nice and straight. So half a board is one eighth instead of a quarter. So then what you should have is half of your bridge all with the proper thickness except for this middle board if you made yours like I did where there's a board exactly in the center. I should say that if you made it where there's a board exactly in the center then you would have this smaller piece like this. Now what you want to do next you want to mirror this piece that you made. You only made half the bridge so within sketch and you you got to get within your sketch here you are going to use this mirror tool. Highlight everything you want to mirror and then where it's going to mirror upon, the mirror line. This is why I drew half of this is because I want it to mirror along there. Hit apply. Boom. And you have one extra line now that's down the center that you need to get rid of. Okay. So now that you're at this step, you have all these extra lines drawn. You have all three layers drawn on top of each other, which I think makes things easier. You're going to want to do a file, save as. 
I would save this original first. I would save this as a template. Then you want to layer these, say layer one, however many layers you have, do it that many times, a save as that many times. I have three, so I'll do layer one, layer two, layer three. And the reason why we're gonna do this, we're going to make this by using subtraction. So let's say my second layer is that middle M layer. That's the hardest one to do, so I'll show you that. You wanna get rid of everything that isn't part of that M layer and then extrude it. I took out a couple of lines that were actually needed. So you want to go in and add those that's in there. There's got to be a closed profile in order for it to be extruded. And if you end up with an M kind of shape like this, which most of you guys have diagonals, I'm going to give you a little trick. It doesn't want to extrude this if this isn't connected. So I just zoom in and I draw a line across and then I trim off this piece here. So now these two are connected to each other. Finish sketch, extrude, and then these are a eighth of an inch. And you want to give it um, some kind of material. I would do probably wood birch looks about right. So you're going to do this for each layer. That's why you did a save as layer one, save as layer two, save as layer three. You're going to create these using what I'm calling subtraction. You're going to go in and subtract all of the lines that you do not need. Once you have all your layers done, then you're going to do a new assembly file. So new assembly, which I already did here. Then you're going to bring in each of the layers that you have by using this place. This should be a refresher. You guys have done this before. So you're going to place all the parts in here. I have already done that. And then you're going to use your constraint tools to put them on top of each other. So for instance, mate basically means glue things on top of each other. Flush would put them on the same plane. So I used flush between these two here to put them up on the same plane. I used mate to glue this to the back side of this one here. Now remember you need three constraints since this is 3D. I always have one mate and then two flushes. Hope this was a big help to you. Let me know if you have any other questions.